Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Uh, uh, happy Halloween and everything. I'm finally set up. I'm finally back. I hope having a bloody nice Halloween. Tis, you know, tis the season to be spooky and everything. Uh, it, oh, I didn't actually realise it was the, the, the 1st of November now. That means I've missed it by a day, which means I really did sleep too long on Friday. Shit. Um, you know, I, I have my, you know, blood soap t-shirt and everything, you know, trying to get into the spirit of it. Um, I mean, you know, I had to, I had to, I had to actually borrow this. I borrowed this off my mate Darren because, you know, he goes out quite a lot in, uh, in, uh, uh, Newcastle. So, you know, it's, it's, it's going to happen, isn't it? You know, it's going to happen. And, uh, the problem is I had to wrestle him for it. And I wasn't too keen on that. I mean, that seems to be the only currency that he uh, seems to respect these days. You know, you want to lift down to town, you got to wrestle him. You know, you you want to borrow five quid, you got to have a wrestle. Uh, you know, if you, if you want to wrestle, you got to have a qualifying wrestle for that first. It's it's, it's a bit ridiculous, really. But uh, it, anyhow, you know. It's, it's really nice to be back because, uh, as uh, most of my fan base will know, um, I got copyright striked out of existence. It's you know you you really can't uh, you really can't uh, you, you know know where YouTube's policies are at until you test them. And uh, you know I, I said to them I appealed. You know, uploading Infinity War in full in 4K was a complete mistake. You know, I wasn't trying to capitalise on on stolen goods or anything, but they weren't having it, so <coughs> it's gone. It's nonsense. Uh, anyhow, uh, I'm pretty much all set up to go. Only one slight disaster. Uh, couldn't get any Mars milk. The you know the uh, the Tesco has stopped stocking it, so I had to get fucking your zoo. It's rubbish. Tastes like gravel in uh, in milk. Still, still we soldier on, and uh, as you might be able to see on the screen, uh, I I'm playing World of Horror. You know, I thought it'd be appropriate for Halloween. You know, if it was still Halloween, but you know, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna just, we're gonna just plow on. We're gonna just plow on and see how it goes. This is apparently, uh, as it says, a pre-release uh, beta, um, and so they've temporarily disable the, the you know the saving and loading mechanics so i couldn't really you know get any experience so i'm, I'm going into this completely fresh and uh, i'm hoping it's gonna scare the piss out of me sorry that was slightly indelicate phrase but uh, um didn't have anything else in the locker so there we go should we start let's start here we go new story would you like to customize your next playthroughs look uh one bit. Okay, that's just monochrome. So a bit you get a little bit of a oh, it's a little bit of your zoo repeating there. <clears throat> uh let's see let's see what they got with the, the two bit one. Well, that's interesting. A little bit a little bit I don't know. Uh, it makes makes me think of fields and cow pats, and I want to stay away from that. Uh little bit too uh, symbolically depressing, all blue. Um, it's just a slightly darker one. That one is, uh, I don't know what that is, that's too bright. Uh, no, 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 no. Actually, maybe. You know what, screw it, I'll have this one. Let's get on, let's get on with it. Okay. If that's your first time playing World of Horror, it is recommended that you start with a spine-chilling story of Skull Scissors option before trying more complex playthroughs. Well, I'm a complex person, so I like complex things, but I will respect their recommendation this time. So, we are going for the spine-chilling story of Skull Scissors, you know. 
oh, no one's running with them. But as it's a horror game, I don't really take safety very seriously. So let's just see what happens. Uh, okay, City of Shiakawa, Japan, 1980X. Oh, convenient. I, uh, not even telling us the year. Something strange is happening in our town. Rolled figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorising the seaside. Very much like my, my hometown of Bangford. Uh, I won't go into that. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also unknown threats. Like a woman with a, an X for a face. Uh, they are terrifying. Um, old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago, awakening as reality starts to crumble. Just, just shit's hit the fan. Arm the clues, spells, and a DeLorean, it looks like. And your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. Well, well, well. I'm just going to gotten sick of the Yazoo uh, breaking open uh, a low brand, sorry, low quality brand Coca-Cola. Just adjusting there. Comfort is everything. Uh, an old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand and you finally arrived in the Doom Town. Strange place to go for a holiday, but you know. Okay, story so far. Welcome to the world of horror. Important messages will appear here. Something called cauterize. That sounds serious. Uh, active rituals. We've got all our stats here. Strength, dexterity, personality, knowledge, charisma, and fund. I should probably know what that is. I don't. We'll probably find out along the way. Okay, oh, here we go. Story so far. <clears throat> You've been following the weird cult for weeks now, barely, barely surviving the encounter with the skin hag at the nursery. Uh, it's a race against time and you can't rest until our town is safe. Okay, uh, start the mystery combat tutorial off. No, I think I probably want that on. Don't know what is... I don't know a thing about any of the mechanics of this. It could be... It could be nothing. There could be loads of shit. Who knows? Divine chilling story of school scissors. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumour has it a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. You know, to be honest, if it wasn't for the context, she actually sounds like it's quite a friendly woman. Uh, but yes, yes, I shall investigate this mystery. The school is eerily quiet at this hour. Your missing friend has left you a notebook. Uh, if the rumours are true, to stop the tall woman with scissors. Oh, she's tall now. Okay. A little bit more intimidating then. Uh, uh, you'll need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Accomplish <coughs> accomplishing this requires first the drawing of a, an eldritch sigil. And then the lighting of uh, holy candles. You can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. Okay. Well, let's see what these uh, icons are. Access your storage. Explore school. Perform the ritual. Don't need that yet. Check out school lockers. Um, just have a look at the storage. That's a natty little attache case. Don't know what that is. Oh, it looks faintly. Cthulhu-ish sort of thing. Very nice. A little bit like a beach octopus. Um, there's not a lot we can do with them. Old friend's diary. Um, you've retrieved an item from storage. Does that mean we can look at it? Oh, here we go. Uh, strange call, woman, something, following all day. Something. Okay, yeah. 18. This this sigil can weaken the demon for a while. Careful with the lines. Always need to be uh, uh, exact when you're dealing with demons. Uh, 
I was about to say, I know that from experience, but I, I don't. Uh, Maru is acting strange. I need to talk to her after class. Uh, I hope she didn't attempt the ritual herself. Um, I've hidden the candles in one of the classrooms. Tomorrow I will try to perform the ritual. Okay. Um, is there extra pages? What does that do? Not a lot. Uh, additional information. Other pages seem irrelevant to the case. I hope they're okay. Well, you know, I don't, I, I don't know who's deeming the rest of the pages irrelevant to the case. I like to know the context. But uh, we shall plough on. Okay, right, well, let's come back out of this. Um, however we do that. However we back. Right, okay. Um, now, should we look at the school lockers or should we explore the school first? Let's, let's explore the school first. Investigating library. What we put? That's not a library. Fully fucking kind of library. Try reading a book on a basketball court. You get battered. Uh, as you enter the school gym, you notice a strange black doll propped up against the wall. Uh, come closer. Needs anatomy class. But right, well, I guess we'll have to do this one then. Unless you can back out. No, okay. Oh, she looks the worst for wear. Looks like she's got a load of Cocoa Pops under her, under her skin. Um, not, not a good start to the day. Uh, against your better judgment, you approach the doll. What makes you see gasping horror? The doll isn't a doll. Your sudden movement causes tiny black spiders to flee, revealing a white half-eaten corpse. That's the thing about spiders. You know, I don't mind them, but they are opportunists. So I don't think the spiders did it. They just, oh, just hanging about. Right, resolve this event. I presume that just means we're done with that. Oh, okay. Oh. You feel like something horrible is happening with the school. You must hurry and find these items. Blessed chalk, holy candles. Uh, what actually dictates how quickly I can I can do things? I mean, uh, let's keep going. Investigate corridor. You're a faint sound while walking out outside the biology classroom. Inside is an old anatomy model. It's heart beating. The sight all, almost makes you sick. I don't know. Well, I mean, if I saw it, to be fair, if I saw an anatomy model with a beating heart, I might have pause for thought. I'll give him that. But it took some stamina off me, which isn't great. You found an additional page from your friend's diary. It seems the blessed chalk was left in the pool. Ooh. Uh, I tell you what, I'm going to look at the lockers. I have a feeling that because these are sort of pointed out that there's going to be something good here. You need a tiny key to open this locker. Right, we'll come back for that. Ooh. That looks like a bat of some sort. Can I take it? Can I take it? Available actions. Um, inspect, equip. Well, I'll equip it. Nothing wrong with a something to batter with people. Batter people with. Yeah. Whoa! Ooh. Uh, some sort of uh, gibbering, shaking thing. Um, tell you what, I'll get on. Uh, okay, I think peek outside or explore. I think I'm just keep exploring this skull. We've got to find a classroom. Um, investigating the corridor. You enter the damp smelling sport wing. You notice a ba backpack drifting on a swimming board in the middle of a pool. Could it be what you're looking for? Bloody better be. So I enter the water, I enter the pool and start swimming towards the backpack. Suddenly the water turns murky and you realise you're not alone in the pool. Oh no. Who could it be? It's probably my old swim teacher. He was, uh, yeah, he was, he was always in the pool. Uh, up to something. A bloated figure emerges from the murky water, blocking your only way out of the pool. Why, is, why does this sound like a combat situation? Oh! <laughs> 
Oh, it is my old swim teacher. Right. Yes, here we go. Right. Combat tutorial. During each turn, be it a sequence of attacks and moves from the action ring. Once you've filled the sequence bar, see, so press the launch sequence to finish your turn. Okay. I mean, it looks like we're in tutorial uh, time. Okay. Let's, let's see what, what can we do. Okay. Can we only do offensive actions at the moment? Okay. Okay. Uh, can we... I really wouldn't mind using that bat if at all possible. Um, and I've already equipped it. But this, yeah, this is a kick. Don't really want to do that. Um, well, this is... I guess I'm just going to have to kick him, aren't I? Try that. Uh, and another... And another. One more? No. But I, yeah. Okay. So each time you kick them, it needs it needs a certain amount of points, which are listed up here. So okay, we're gonna basically kick them three times and probably run away. Turn two begins. Did that actually do any damage? I should have been paying attention. All right. Fill the combat sequence so while I kind of. Uh, oh, with time, you will discover new combat moves available through the action filter. A. Oh. Uh, right. But first, you need a weapon. Find... I've got a weapon! I've got a bat! Let's use an action called look for an improvised weapon. Okay. I, I mean, I guess this is because I'm... Did it in there. Doing the tutorial. I don't know. Where the fuck is it? Uh... This action requires an ally, combat skill. Oh, look for an improvised weapon. Okay, so we have to do this, it looks like. Um, I wonder if I can give him, a, give him a knife shot. Oh, this is right. Okay. I'll look for an improvised weapon and also attack him. Uh, I'll be honest, he doesn't look that healthy. So, take this. Oh, well, we took some HP off him. Took four off. Look, a new item has appeared in the upper right corner. That's your inventory. Click it and uh, find a branch in a swimming pool, of course. Um, I wonder if this is actually as good as the bat, to be honest. Anyhow, uh, right, let's uh, support actions, defensive actions to see what... Let's dodge, run away. We're not running away. Uh, I learned from the uh, the the Bangford Junior Wrestling uh, Federation that you don't run away. You know, you stay and you, you got to keep it raw. Right. Uh, I think the offensive stuff. Is uh, doing me well so far. So what I'm going to do? Oh, your next attack has additional 10% chance to hit. This affects stacks. So put that in there. Attack him with a knife. Um, prepare your attack. Next attack's guaranteed to hit. So it's 40. Um, 69. Do we have? Do we have enough left? So I think we do actually. Uh, okay. Just gonna. Oh. Uh, Strong attack, right? Let's give him some of this. Come on, it doesn't look, doesn't look like the second attack really landed. Weird, I, I have really no idea if he didn't look like he's attacking me back, to be honest. Support actions, I think just straight up tanking him is probably the best thing to do. You know, Prepare attack, slash, prepare attack. Oh, can't do that right, take that away. Uh, let's just do another attack. I've only got 5 HP, he's only got 5 HP left. Oh, battered. There you go, resolve combat. Drop like a sack of shit. Okay, so we found Blessed Shark. 
uh, which we use to draw the sigil. Um, we need holy candles, though. What's this telling us? Redraw sigil, explore school, perform the ritual. Well, we need our clue, we need our candles, so we better keep looking. So, investigating library. Oh. Well, hello. You look offensive. A tall woman with an unsettling face and a twitching wet stops you. I'll be your new biology teacher. Could you help me move some uh, stuff to my new office? Um, I'd be happy to do that. Oh, we're just looking at the live chat. Uh, I see Lisa Stouts is in the chat. Hello, Lisa. Nice of you to uh, nice of you to join us. Uh, right, uh, back to the game though. Uh, should we help her? Shall we help her? Shall we? Let's help her. We're helpful. Luck check failure. A creepy substitute teacher hands you dusty old biological specimens. The rancid smell of formalin. Oh, that is. Almost makes you drop the jar. Should fetuses have so many legs? It depends, really. You know, legs, plural. So, you know, this fetus could just have two, uh, but you're just not really, not really not knowledgeable about fetuses. Anyway, sound of scissors is getting louder. You must hurry. You must uh, explore school, investigating classroom. I mean, it must be in here. It must be in here. Carefully into the biology classroom. Room seemed empty at first to switch the lights on. Gasp in horror, lying in a pool of blood is one of the teachers with a fruit knife in their hand. Ooh. There's a jar of formaldehyde on the nearest table, mesmerized by the spiral pattern on the sea creature's skin. Sea creature? You step over the dead body and come closer, and then the voices start. Oh, uh, forgotten specimen. Okay, okay. Um... I think he's got a little, has he got a little bit, a bit more oomph than the, uh, the bloated teacher? Well, we shall see. Tell you what, I'm going to prepare my attack and then I'm going to go strong. See if I can make it count. I don't know if there's anything we can do with 53. 53 points. Um, let me see. Combat skill lowers your experience by five and raises your chance to hit by 10% for the rest of this encounter. I'll be honest, I'm not sure what half the, the variables in this do at the moment, so uh, I might skip that. Defensive actions. Do I need to defend? Uh, let's see. Uh, 60. Uh, I can't do any of those anyway. Okay, let's just commit. Oh, took off our, took off, uh, shit, how many? Four, I think. Four points. Spiritual actions. I don't know what's any of this. Clap. Part of a ritual. Mars combat ritual is a combination of five bows and claps. Even if you don't get it right, you'll be provided with a hint. That sounds elaborate. Uh, oh, regain stamina. Got seven stamina. See, well, I could do again a couple of bits of stamina back. Um, and then I might go back on the offensive. We need to batter you, little fella in a jar. Uh, uh, attack boost. Ooh, ooh. Time needs 69. Time needs 107. There you go. Yeah. Getting some stamina, trying to make the the battering count. Oh, they did shit all. Brilliant. Oh well, still got got a couple of a couple of stamina back, and my reason's gone down. Did that just drop by about like nine points or something? I feel slightly out of depth here. I must admit, not so much used to turn-based combat 
as just pushing forward on the gamepad, smashing the the you know attack button, whatever it is, and then just closing my eyes uh, for roughly twenty seconds. And hopefully, when I open them, that everything's you know back to normal. This you actually have to think about it. Uh, so I tell you what, I'm gonna prep. Do uh, an attack, do an attack. Apparently they'll stack, will they? Yeah, see, I think he blocked the last one. How are we doing? Still dropping, still dropping on the reason side of things. Oh, I see, right. Oh, it actually costs you. If you're regaining stamina, it costs you reason. Well, that's mental. I'm not happy about that. Um, right, right. You know what? I think I might actually change back to my wooden bat. I just have a feeling that might be a bit better. No, uh, equip. Don't have time to change the equipment. Why is that? Um. Next attack is guaranteed to hit. Um, see, I'm someone that just likes going on the offensive. Guys, oof! It's nearly gone though. It's nearly gone. I, I kind of feel like we can. Um, wonder if maybe we can dodge. Or something. I don't want to run away. Gosh. 120 to just to dodge. Brace for impact. Lowers the incoming damage by half and ignores any special attack. I tell you what, I might come back for that. God. This dodgy brand Coca Cola is, is repeating on me. Like it's some kind of oh gosh knows what. Uh, right. Okay. 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 Right. Let's sort this out. Attack boost. Basic attack, and let's test out the we. Uh, oh no, the brace for impact. Okay, let's give that a go. Wait, what's that? Pick it up. Don't know, don't know what it is. Hope it's useful. I found a lump of flesh. That's nice. I suppose. I suppose that's nice. Oh, it looks like a. Oh, I found the candles as well. Everything is ready for the ritual. Well, okay then. Let's do some ritual stuff. Wait, what's that? Oh. Okay. That's right. Someone who left their bag. Or well, something like that, I'm sure. Uh, uh, ooh. Okay, continue. Continue. The schedule and the holy candles don't seem to have any effect on the horrible monster. Have, had you drawn it wrong? Frozen in fear, you watch as the twitching horror gets closer and closer. It raises its enormous scissors and croaks, Am I beautiful? I'll be honest. You know. Doesn't seem nice to say that to anyone, but... She... She, she could do with a little something, a makeover, something like that. Uh, prepare for combat, right, okay, looks like we, we're going into it. Twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom, cackling menacingly, am I beautiful? Um, already answered that. Okay, okay, right, she's got significantly more HP, significantly more power, and uh, I wish I knew what the fuck that meant. Right. Right. What should we do? Maybe we will... Let's do, do what we did on the last turn of that, uh, of, of that last fight. Where did an attack boost. Um, battered them with a branch. And then... In defensive turns, we brace for impact. If she attach it, attacks me with those scissors, I think it'll be a bad day. 
It's just my thought. Right. Right. Brilliant. Uh, we got stabbed and we took no HP offer. That's excellent. Um, shit. Do I need to do these spiritual actions? Is that what I've got to do? Uh, 5,000 claps. Uh, is that to say it could be five combined of these two in any particular order? Let's try it. Bow, clap, bow, clap. This is a risky manoeuvre. Let's give it a try. Uh, well, we we basically got... Uh, oh, nothing happens. We think you got three ritual moves. God. God, how... How many possible combinations could that be? God, we don't even know which ones. Uh, is that to say the order's wrong or the amount? I mean, do we have much chance of beating her without doing this? That is the question. I'm going to go clap, bow, clap. Uh, bow, bow. I'm going to hazard a guess. I'm going to say that didn't work. Frozen in fear, you watch as she gets closer. Her sharp scissors are slowly cutting through your cheeks as she asks you, Am I beautiful? Uh, well, you gave me a... What is that? Glasgow smile? Uh, a little bit harsh. You perished. Cause of death, killed by the scissor woman. Level 1, difficulty level, cultist. Equipped branch. That branch is bullshit. I reckon the, the bat's better. Uh, let's see. Uh, backstory summoned old god. Incoming doom 5%. Uh, no idea what that means. Your play playthrough lasted 27.02. In this run, you didn't complete any mystery. Ah, oh, come on. You saw two new events. You encountered two new enemies. You didn't lock any, unlock any new achievements. The only problem is I can't save any of this until the Halloween update comes. Uh, uh, hmm. Continue. Nah, it takes us right back to the beginning. Um, let's see, how are we doing for the time? Well, we've been on for 44 minutes. I think that might be a good, pretty good place to leave it for now. Um, it might be just as well because I couldn't start this until until me uh, dad went to bed. He lives with me now, and uh, he thrashes about for at least an hour uh, before he goes to sleep, um, which is uh, all well and good, but it does rather put everyone off. Uh, and I can yeah, I can hear him starting up again. Right, okay, I think I'm going to uh, call it there. Um, thank you very much for watching, probably all one of you, uh, and if you haven't already done so, uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, because I'm going to be doing these, I think, definitely, uh, every Sunday, um, in other circumstances, maybe I'll switch it around, but I would say every Sunday at the moment, so... If you would like to come along on my various adventures and bask in my glory, then you are very welcome to. Thank you very much and uh, keep it real. Keep it raw. Oh, that's what I need to click. <laughs>